Welcome back. Now, you know this. I don't need to tell you this, but if there's one thing we love doing here, not just on the show, around the place, I, I think that's true, isn't it, Nate? If there's one thing, if anybody was thinking, oh, I wonder what it's like backstage at the Late Late Show, what is it we're doing back there almost all day? I mean, almost all the time, we're looking at pictures of dogs and sunglasses. We're looking at pictures of yeah. dogs wearing sunglasses. <laughs> you can't move for people just going... <laughs> Or like, no, like that. And what people don't know is there's a lot more to these dogs in sunglasses than meets the eye. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about their personalities to let you know all about them. This is Dogs in Sunglasses. Dogs in sunglasses, dogs in sunglasses, dogs in sunglasses. What are you going to do? It's dogs in sunglasses, dogs in sunglasses, dogs wearing glasses that are fashion for the sun. It's a time. To analyze dogs and sunglasses. <laughs> tell you what, I could go out now. <laughs> could you? Got a bachelor party this weekend. Yeah. My mate, three mates, three of my oldest friends are flying into Los Angeles. My mate Jay's getting married. Gav, Jay, and Tone are coming. Um, <laughs> to give you an idea of the sort of uh, sensibilities of people we're dealing with, miss their flight. <laughs> Think about that. When was the last time? You heard of anybody missing their flight? It, from from London. From London. Oh my! To Los Angeles, missed the flight. I get a text from my mate Gav. Says we're all on like a text chain, and it says, uh, "Hey man, funny story." <laughs> so it says, "Hey man, funny story. We missed the flight." So should we still Uber to you, or are you good to come and pick us up from the airport? <laughs> I was like, well, no, because you land at 6.30. I'll never make it out there to get there. Traffic's going to be awful. Um, I should probably cancel our dinner reservation. We're all going to go to a restaurant tonight. I should probably cancel that dinner reservation. Gav sent back, we, we will need to eat, though, so if you can figure that out. I don't, think actually, I don't think he actually even put, we will need to eat. He put something else. Hang on. It was like, it was worse than that. <laughs> so I said, I'm not going to, I won't get to LAX in time. The traffic will be awful. Maybe just come to my house and I'll take you to the hotel from there. I should probably cancel dinner. Sorry, it's been awful. We will need food of some sort. <laughs> We'll come to yours. Is there somewhere near the hotel? <laughs> I put, well, there's the actual hotel. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Jay sent back, what's the food like at the hotel? <laughs> 45 year old men. <laughs> so I have no idea what the food's like. But no worries. You're not rushing off, are you? I know I've got the flavour, but you're not rushing off. Hagar, you sticking around for a minute? You sticking around? Because I'd love to tell you about this guy. This guy. This guy filled in for Calvin Harris in Vegas for a week and nobody noticed. <laughs> this guy? This guy still greets his friends by going, What's up? <laughs> this guy wants you to know that he's not trying to, to replace your dad. He's just trying to hit it and quit it with your mum. <laughs> Cece, you all right for time? Because I'd love to talk to you about this guy. <laughs> this guy doesn't trust the vaccine, but will swallow any pill handed to him at a party <laughs> without giving it a second thought. <laughs> Let me talk to you about this guy. <laughs> this guy... <w> <laughs> this guy wishes he was Batman <laughs> because he hates his parents. <laughs>
This guy's costume's pretty fun until you realise he's wearing it at a custody hearing. <laughs> this, guy... <laughs> this guy's like a bat because he's dark, mysterious and responsible for the spread of COVID. <laughs> Lauren, have you got a dash or can you stick around for one more? I can stick around. Can you stick around for yeah, one yeah. more? Because I would love to tell you about this guy. <laughs> this guy? At one point or another, this guy has been married to every single member of Fleetwood Mac. <laughs> <laughs> this guy? This guy wants you to know that, yes, the carpet does match the drapes. <laughs> Could he please borrow some scissors because the carpet is currently tangled up <laughs> on a storm drain? <sighs> I'd love to talk to you about this guy. This guy is no longer allowed at PTA meetings because he keeps yelling about mandates and also he doesn't have children. <laughs> This guy breathed a huge sigh of relief when they announced no foul play was suspected in the death of Larry King. <laughs> I'd love to talk to you about this guy. <laughs> this guy is the last thing you see before you die of an ayahuasca overdose at Burning Man. <laughs> This guy was offered a red pill or a blue pill and he took them both before it was even explained what they did. <laughs> this guy's costume... Oh, it's guy who got herpes from a pool noodle. <laughs> and finally, I want to talk to you about this guy. This guy is about to fight Jake Paul. <laughs> this guy doesn't do any drugs. Unless you consider cocaine a drug. <laughs> that was Dogs in Sunglasses. Jared Leto is here when we come back.